Hey, my beautiful friends, it's your friend Kevin, and here we go with the card of the day. All right, we are using the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot Deck by Radley Valentine, illustrations by Dan Craig. We pulled the Emperor card last Sunday. We're going to choose another one tomorrow. Oh, by the way, today is Saturday, the 16th of September, 2023. Uh, and I'm going to welcome all the brand new subscribers, all of my existing friends that are subscribers. And I'm going to ask you all to check your YouTube accounts. Go in there, ring the bell, make the announcements. Don't forget to like the videos. Uh, and I did say I'm going to bring a video as to why all that's important. And I will, I promise. Uh, so. My isms, you say to yourself in the mirror, looking at yourself in the eye, I am the most blessed human on earth. Now, don't mix that up with being more blessed than somebody else, because that's where we get tripped up. But you are the most blessed human on earth, because that's the only person you know is yourself. You say, I am peace. I am love. I am happiness. I am joy. And I am enough. If anything pops up, Underneath it, where you doubt it, where your where your subconscious shadow self is trying to convince you that that's not true, you keep saying it. Because we have to affirm what is truly here in the now if that's what we want to create. Now, I told you yesterday about the five words I use. I'm going to put them back up. I might keep these for a few days so you remember them. You breathe in calm and you exhale. You breathe in balance and you exhale. You breathe in ease and you exhale. You breathe in stillness and you exhale and you breathe in peace and you keep doing this. You can set a timer for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, deep breath in calm and let it go. Deep breath in balance and let it go. Deep breath in ease and let it go. Deep breath in stillness and let it go. Deep breath in peace and let it go. And you know, I've got some friends on the channel Vicky's one of them. She uh, runs the Healing Art channel, I think. Um, Vicky Loper, you're going to need to look her up if you want to. Uh, anyway, she does the breath work to go down to the del delta levels. I don't know much about the brain waves, but a uh, good thing to follow. Her method is to breathe deeply and, and use the affirmation down and down and down just to move you out of the chaotic mind that fills up with fear, with anxiety, with all of those things that we no longer need. I use Archangel Michael's prayer. Thank you for being here and removing fear, anxiety, worry, depression from my place of space. Let's get on with our card of the day. That's my little lesson for you. Great Father in the sky, loving Mother in the earth, angels, ancestors, my beloved guides, thank you for stepping in where you've always been and bring us a message of joy, of happiness, of confidence, of understanding and here's a little card that is just oh the wise counselor well hello i'll put you there because you keep showing up <laughs> um uh okay where was i all right all right all right all right they're all gathering they're all giggling and they're all like yeah get as messy as you want to get it's called realness um i think that's enough shuffling let's go let's choose one card uh, 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 uh. And I have to say that wise counselor probably was there because I pushed her back into the deck the wrong way round. But when things like that happen, I pay attention and decide what is it. And I think maybe the wise counselor for today can sit next to her brother, the emperor, and can say, "You're on the path. You've got. You're on a mission." And I'm talking to you people. Uh, you're on a mission and you're going to get going with whatever it is you've got to get going with. Here we go. Six of water. I'm looking. Oh, I'm looking at this. Now, listen, people, you can't get much better than this. Oh, I got goosebumps. So they're all around me. It's a bit like having spirit guides sort of giving you one of those group hugs. That's what this feels like. And I'm passing it on to you. It might even be a reflection of all of these things. Uh, but the Six of Water is today's energy. And it is all about memories, getting into the good childhood stuff, not the stuff that we grow from. And then nostalgia. If we look at this person, 
looking up at the feather, which is her guardian angel, sitting on a mound of green grass. Every single one of her cups is flourishing. Sometimes we look at the past and particularly in growth, we're reminded that there is some awkwardness, some choices, some awkwardness, some things, some threads. That's sometimes. But today, think of that joy. Think of that happiness. Think of where you are just running through a field with balloons or a kite or whatever that is. Or the first time you went to the ocean and you splashed your feet in that water. Or the first time you, I don't know, ran around with a puppy. Uh, uh, Any time that you remember you're going into childhood memories. Be that today. Have that fun. Have that frivolity. The emperor is basically saying you are organized. You can you can use logic. You can put structure and discipline into your daily life. But this is a Saturday. And the wise counselor is saying, learn to play. Learn to be a bit of that frivolous person. I am going to um, pull in what, because, uh, you know, water is the sign of cups. So when we've got the six of water here, your angels are saying sometimes looking backward can point the way forward. It can remind us of our old dreams, the dreams that we had, the wishes that we wanted, the things that we were looking to do with our lives. And um, if you want to revive parts of yourself, things that you might want to reclaim, um, that's one part of reminiscing and going back into nostalgia and other times these thoughts and feelings can be an anchor that keeps you from sailing into these unfamiliar waters you know we remember things that our grandparents might have said little quotes that we might have had um not so much eat all the food on your plate because that was just like i'm no longer hungry and this is too much um anyway The angels are saying, we're always happy to help you rekindle old passions or let go of things that no longer serve you. All you have to do is ask. We do have to go through that emotional sorting office. We do have to offload the thoughts that we may have made as a child that may not actually be right. You know, the 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 we're always reconciling our good self with the shadows. The shadows are always there. You know, little ones will always talk about monsters under the bed or the boogeyman. There is no monster under the bed. There is no boogeyman. But the child that sees the monster and experiences the boogeyman is the child that's saying, please hold me, please comfort me, please hold my hand through this feeling of fear. And any good guardian because the guardian angel messages we've got here will say, I'm going to hold your hand. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to make you feel safe. I'm going to help you through this. Not put your light off and go back to sleep and don't be so silly. Because <laughs> that's not really helpful. <laughs> Additional meanings for this card is looking back at happy anniversaries with loving kindness. Being innocent of any wrongdoings. They are not wrong if you got something from it. They might have been choices that perhaps didn't turn out the best way. It's not wrong if that's the awareness. There is no wrong and there is no right. There is just a right. This is a passage. Things work or they don't work. And I think I'm getting into the weeds. So fond memories of family, friends and relationships, the simpler times of our childhood, those friends that you made, the things that we used to be, the happiness that we had. It's just wonderful. It's time to kind of look back. And I just got some epiphanies here. Um, Okay, so my guardians are sort of saying there's some releasing going on here right now. We're in the month of September. And planetary things. We've just walked into a new moon. Basically, oh, I've got these goosebumps. This card and these three cards together are signifying the fact that you have to unhitch the wagon 
from anything in the past that doesn't need to be here. Unhitch your wagon to anything in the past that doesn't need to be here. And I know this is beginning to sound like a, a groove in the record. What I also know is that this transformational growth started the day that we popped into the planet and said, I'm here to do certain things. I'm going to do certain things. And it got kind of a little bit on this obstacle course. Here's the, here's the other part too. When we take on our physical embodiment, we are the most powerful being that we can be. We're an extension of that spiritual self, which is much bigger. However, in on a planet, on an earth, with gravity and the laws of attraction, the laws of abundance, the laws of reciprocity, all of those rules and laws, we also have to have the other, the opposite. We've got to have it. It's always brighter after a thunderstorm. It's always lighter. And when we're in that dark space, you can see the glimmer of light in those dark spaces. But we have to have that. It can always be joy and love and kumbaya and this and that. When we're at our deepest shadow place, in that ah, I'm not quite sure I'm feeling quite so much, there is that fear and that ego that wants to just grab it, you know? And just like when we're in the light and we're following the light and we're following the goodness, which is still effort, there's both effort. We've got to put equal amount of effort into both. That's where we sit on the seesaw of working through the, the bumps in the road, the potholes of our day. But today, the emperor is saying, you're organized, you have it, you've got the cut. And the wise counselor is saying, hook up with those people, those places, those books, those records, the meditation. Get into that and ask your spiritual guides this. Ask your spiritual guides, your angels, your loved ones, whether it's your tarot cards, your pendulums, whatever that is. Ask for the help to show you where it is you need to be going if you're a little confused. And then let that go. The challenge we have, and I'm one of them, I'm big on that. When I ask, come on, you know, I'm manifesting, I'm meditating and doing the things that I teach all of you to do. I've got this, well, come on then, bring it. Well, what am I waiting for? Come on, come on. <laughs> it's a bit ratchet. What I've learned is I just got to let that go. Let it be the way it is. Not obsess about it. Not worry about it. Because the obsession and the worry is all connected to something that already did happen. It's, it's coming back up. And it's coming back up to show how much far you've gone with it. You know, our past is not something that keeps repeating. It will pop back up as a way to say, you already watched that movie. You already been down that road. You already had that journey. You want to go back down that road? You want to have that, that again? Well, all right, then we can create it. The point is, this is crazy. So when you say to yourself like, oh, this again? I got to do this all over again? Uh-uh, no, no. We're just showing you that you can move past it. Choose something else. I like that. Choose something else. So for today, really, you can do reminiscing. You can do um, recount. But look at where, okay, how did that, you know, if it makes you happy and lifts your heart, you're good to go. Because that's really what we want. Joy, love, happiness. The hurt and the sadness is, is that opposing force, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. Your comments are going to tell me because they're golden. All right, listen, until tomorrow, much love, much peace, much happiness. Go. Have a good day.